All right, guys, I have no idea where it stopped, but somebody feels like it's a tragic love, okay? So I'm just gonna keep going, see what the fuck pops up. But somebody is feeling like a mental breakdown. Lizzie popped up on my fucking live, and for some reason it, it popped off, like it just shut off. So I'm just gonna keep going because there's a spiral manifesting coming in, and it's a major change, okay, guys? So please watch part one, children. Somebody is wanting to be playful, okay? They feel like they're in a, a mental pr prison because they didn't have faith in the process. They wouldn't make a change. And somebody knows that you healed your inner child. Somebody needs to let go of this outdated belief systems, okay? You're moving on. There is a physical change or something. This is why somebody is feeling up in their head because they lost you by trying to fight with you. You are the sun. Now they ghosted you, blocked you, or you cut them off. Take it as it resonates because somebody was lying on their own fucking heart. Now there's a dramatic change, guys. Somebody is feeling like there was a harsh cutoff, but it was because you went into hermit mode. You knew somebody was having a, a affair, some kind of decret, dirty little secret, and you weren't playing no fucking games. There's nothing there, guys. I'm telling you, you aren't playing no games with this person, and they feel like it was a forbidden love, like there's a tragedy if they go against the grain. They're terrified. They're absolutely terrified to go against the grain because of all these dirty affairs, these love affairs, these secrets in the back. They think that you're going to expose everything. I just wish things were different. Somebody is locked the fuck down, got their head on, hand on their head. They're fucking feeling confined, even in a prison of the mind, a purgatory, a jail. I don't know, but they wish things were different and they want to compromise. <laughs> That's clarification. They know they should have compromised, loved themselves a little bit more. And now you got somebody who's coming in to compromise with you because you are the empress. You deserve nothing but the best because you matter. I'm telling you, you matter the most. And if you mattered most, you wouldn't have got ghosts. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is what it is, guys. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, see, you're saying no to anybody who's disrespecting you. You don't got no fucking time for this. See? You ain't got no time for people who are jealous. Yo, I'm telling you, somebody is just jealous. And you said no. You knew that they were a jealous person. You knew they weren't going to give you the respect where it, like where it needed to go. So you did what you had to do. Somebody wants to hold on to you or is holding on to you, but you check their behavior problems. Somebody needs to check their fucking behavior problems, guys, before they think they can come in with a transcendence. You had unity within yourself. You went against the grain, even when you were fucking terrified. You knew that something was a fucking tragic love affair, and you weren't dealing with it anymore. Somebody's coming in to speak the truth, even when they're terrified. Even when their voice shakes, it's irrelevant because they avoided this for too long. And they're in the emperor in reverse energy. They want this relationship, this higher level commitment with this queen of cups empress. But see, the love of, I'm telling you, somebody's coming in with fucking a, a love offer. They want to compromise because they are, you are the high priestess. They know that you have this sacred knowledge, this divine feminine wisdom. You are Venus, guys. You are somebody's fucking flower, and they should have they should have fertilized you, but they didn't. Instead, they rejected you, and now you're guarded. Somebody feels very vul vulnerable. Maybe they had plans to build with you and then go build somewhere else, but it is what it is. Now you know you matter most, so you're guarded, and somebody feels very lost from you. Look, in the present moment, somebody is grateful. For the abundance that you brought to their life but they know that they were a very jealous person and that's why you had to have a dramatic change life-changing event happened and it wasn't your fault it was theirs but they didn't want to take accountability for the decisions that they made you had to take accountability for your decisions you knew that there was somebody was had dirty little life a, a second life or whatever so what you did was you made the decision to plan to investigate to heal your heart to go into hermit mode, do the self-searching, and now you're celebrating your gifts of abundance. People can't take that away from you. And somebody has been watching you in the distance while you retreated and took time out. They had a transformation as well and a unity. There is a reunion here, guys. An integration, a unionship. But somebody is clinging to their past friends, family, acquaintance. And they have to take the mask off and tell the fucking truth about what they did in this distance. About how they've been watching you the whole time. And how they restricted themselves, this masculine, from apologizing to this twin flame. It is what it is. Somebody wants forgiveness, but 
part of the deck. They're bringing in a message. The summertime was growth, guys, but somebody needs to get out of the illusions, the rose-colored glasses of the past, so that this way they can stop fucking spying or letting other people spy and run their life. It is what it is. Somebody has high expectations. It's all about self-worth, guys, and you have self-worth enough to walk the fuck away from somebody who doesn't value you. So congratulations. Let's get the high priestess of light. Wow. Yeah, you got, you're gratefully optimistic. You have a joyous view of the future. Even if you don't know what's coming, you still can beat these hostile energies. You know exactly who you are. You are a warrior and you're, some, you're on a schematic journey. It's got a lot of people upset because you are tapped into that divine feminine energy. That tenderness, that true love and compassion. That's why somebody is coming in with a love offer. And there is going to be a lot of conflict, a lot of unrest. Because you are optimistic and you're calming the storm and you have a shamanic journey. I'm telling you, nobody can take away this life purpose. You are tuning to your vision quest and it's not going to fit anybody else's life but yours. You found peaceful self-resolution and calm the water within yourself. Allowing others to do the same or not, it's irrelevant. But you are the guide and you illuminated the path to abundance internally. It's not about money, guys. It's about that bright heart light. It's about opening connections to others and showing others that you are not alone. It's about death and rebirth, turning that darkness into light, my beautiful collective. You got this. I, I promise you, whatever has transpired was only to give you um, the encouragement that you can do this, okay? You have goodness, guys. Creation. You have goodness to create a beautiful life for yourself with the inner strength, okay? Nothing moves me from my my path of light because I have complete confidence in myself. I realize my intimate qualities and abilities and I know with God I can do anything. All the power I need is within me. Goodness. I redefine my character and overcome difficulties by remaining positive. I calm my heart and illuminate my intelligence and transform shadow into light. I, I con consciously manifest goodness in and around me, improving my quality and my benefits of others. And it says, creation, I have the power to direct my life with the constructive attitude. I create the best for my soul. I firmly believe I can transform and improve my inner and outer world by turning every thought into affirmative action. I act in the image of God and bring light into my life. And the last one is I am light. There you go, guys. You are the sun. And you got that goodness. This is I always have hope no matter the ordeal. I have faith in the better future. I turn darkness into light. I open my heart to others and to God. And I am spiritually strong. I draw light to me and shine with all my being. It's time to shine with all your being, guys. Because there's a lot of people gossiping. But it's only because they're being petty. They're jealous of whatever the fuck you got going on. And it's never about money, guys. It's always about energy, okay? They're envious. And there's nothing you can do about that. Just continuously keep going and put these people to death. Put their transformation, okay? All they got is your ass to kiss at the end of the day because you are the muse. And a lot of people know this, that you have somebody who is in love with you, over head over heels in love with you. You are the idyllic fucking person to be with. And this is probably why you stay alone <laughs> because you know your energy and you're not giving it freely to anybody. It's going to cost a lot. It's going to cost self-control says what excuses am i making right now okay subconscious message no more waiting there is not there will never be a good enough time the time is now today is so action it is important enough if it is important enough for you you will find a way today make a decision and do it even if you don't feel ready listen to your heart it will lead you never mind the gossip never mind the slander never mind feeling left out it's time for you to let go of those wounds that have hurt you Find peaceful self-resolution and allow good things to come in and let somebody hold you, okay? It's time to listen to your heart. You deserve nothing but the best and you will get nothing but the best, but you got to give it to yourself first. Okay, let's go down the rabbit hole real fast. Spirit guides. Yeah, somebody needs to keep up, okay? There's immense effort. Somebody is putting an immense effort to try to advance to you or get to you. Divine timing, guys. Somebody is leading the way. Okay? You led the way. Be the leader. Show others it's, it can get done. You can help others. It's time to express yourself. It's time to speak up. It's time to be authentic to your core values and bring your own and belong to your own dream. Create your own life, guys. Okay? Never mind what everybody else is doing. They got their own lives to live. 
create a life just for you, okay? You got a message for a rabbit and set the course, okay? It says, know where you wish to go and have a plan, a right direction. It says, message for a rabbit. Serve the animal world. And then the last one is change overnight, change in the night. You have changed quickly and somebody else has too. So you have a new love coming in or somebody who is an old love but new to you. I don't know. It's an energy, guys. Somebody may have transformed or you have transformed that darkness and allowed a new thing to come in. But there is a love offer coming in because somebody does see you as Venus, the goddess of love, their love, and want to speak the truth. You are fit for only one person, guys. And that one person is going to come in, but you got to let go of the narcissistic abuse, okay? We're not for everybody and we're not like everybody, okay? So let's get the overall, uh, let's get the last closing message from the St. Francis Oracle deck, okay? Somebody really wants to talk. Spirit guy, just one. Just one. One last closing message for my beautiful collective that's watching me today on part two. Okay? So don't forget to watch part one, okay? And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It helps with the algorithm. Even though YouTube is really jacked up right now, it's irrelevant. We're doing it for the message, not for the views, likes, or for the money. So, don't forget to show support, okay? Seven, strength, confidence, and stability. When you recognize the beauty within you, your sense of self-worth becomes confident and stronger. Those... Though these mucky water, though these mucky waters, the trees represent strength, you need to hold on to some sort of stability is important right now. Maybe because there have been many changes in your life. If you have been through recent emotional turmoil, then now then allow yourself to be supported by those who can help you to be strong, even if it is a kind word from someone who cares. The stillness in the water suggests that you may be holding on to what needs to be said. You will find the words to deal with the delicate situation. Trust your intuition, listen to your inner voice, and the right time will become clear. Remember, guys, it's time to trust your heart, okay? <laughs> Somebody knows that sex with you is going to be off the chain, or they already had sex with you. Take it as it resonates, guys. Let's get the fucking juice, all right? What's, what's the juice? Let's get right into here. What's the juice, guys? Overall, energy is the high priestess in reverse. Somebody manipulated you and is very jealous that you are the high priestess in the upright. They're wasting their fucking talents trying to go up against the collective energy because the collective energy is the fucking hermit, high priestess. And all those hexes that were sent towards you are being blocked. These people tried to bring you into their conflicts so that this way you will feel left out, rejected. And now they're the ones who are left out and rejected. These people try to get you fired or put out. And you just walk the fuck away from it. And now all these people just got their your ass to kiss. Because you're high vibrational. And this spell work to try to end your love life did not fucking work. Because these knocks are getting caught the fuck up because you're the fucking goat. The greatest of all times, motherfucker. So watch your fucking step. Because you're an earth angel. Somebody wanted to get you put out or fired. When you're the earth angel, God hired you. Who's going to fire you as Maji likes to say, bitch? Nah, nah, somebody's not getting any sleep because you are getting the upgrades. You leveled up. Also, remember, new levels, new devils, right? Somebody can't stop you. They're fearful of this because you reprogrammed your mind. Remember, fear is installed, so there's nothing really to fear. But this sister, this person you called your sister, wants to send you a message to go, try to get you um to not be stable to not be secure but they're fucking drunk they're being dumb they're drinking they're turning it up and they want you are saying that you are doing the same but you're not somebody's gonna have a cold motherfucking winter and they're talking to the moon because they're over fucking sexual being two-faced these fake fucking friends now somebody's finding out about kids and why they oh my god <sighs> somebody walked away from a fucking wife material and went into some kind of sabotaging energy with fucking somebody who called your sister. And now you're going to get wiped anyways. Why? Because you're loyal, you're giving. And it is what it is. Someone's learning a crazy fucking karmic lesson about people. <laughs> the dark night of fucking soul, guys. Got to do that self-reflecting because there's a lot of fucking regret. Karma's at play, guys. Somebody's getting the downloads from their ancestors that haters are going to hate. This is why they did it. And you're still strong being a light worker, conquering everything. So keep fucking going, my beautiful collective. You got this. You got this. Heart of the deck, 1111, twin flame energy is always going to be protected, guys. And people are going to hate it. But it is what it is. You got the soul ascension. You got the soul connection. You got the fucking longevity. You got the protection. You got everything. You're the empress, the wheel of fortune. Somebody needs to speak the truth or forever hold their peace. 
and stay on that devil's path. It's a choice, guys. These bad friends, these fake relatives, these hidden motives, they're everywhere. So you got to be careful of that envious energy, especially because a lot of people are envious of that twin flame energy and your fucking power. You know your power. It's time to shine, guys. Be you. As above, so below. Give them their fucking, give them your ass to kiss. All right, so let's get this water. Yeah, acceptance. That's bent out of shape, guys. Somebody's bent out of shape because they got to accept you for who you are. It says, may you receive what is to come. What is yours is yours and what is yours is coming, guys. Heart of the deck because you're doing well. And the ancestors are saying it's time to accept. Everybody needs to accept that you're doing well and you did it all on your own. Balance. You got balance and you're bringing balance and harmony to this relationship, to this partnership, to the fucking world. It says, may you be, may you find equival um, equilibrium in motion. It's time to find equilibrium, guys. It's time to get out of this fucking naive feeling and tap into that divine wisdom, okay? Begin. It's time to begin. May you start as if you have already begun. Remember, one single step, okay? One day at a time. One journey at a time. One. It's time to take the mask off. Pandora's gift, okay? Once you take that mask off, all your gifts come back. Everything that was taken from you, you got to speak your truth against any lies, any distortion. You are the empress. You are the healer. Your hug is healing on its own. This is probably why you don't let anybody hold you. But it's time to let somebody hold you. Because these jealous people are feeling some kind of way and that's not on you what's on you is to be the light okay to guide people out of the darkness Sagittarius okay that's the um, temperance angel but this this Sagittarius is getting karma probably because they try to get you fired or put out and now they're looking like a fucking whole fucking mess this organization because they're all spying and watching you why because you're the fucking star they got something to watch because you're on your life purpose. They have every right to watch. But fuck you. <laughs> because you're a VIP, guys. Guess what? They need fucking wristband to get into your life now. <laughs> I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This Aries might want to stop now with this Aquarius. Or, I don't know. Blessings on blessings, guys. Something's hidden. And there's an end of a cycle here. This Aquarius is safe. The Aries needs to stop because somebody is on a life purpose or somebody needs to stop fucking with these people in general because you're on a life purpose. That's the star. That's the emperor. You're safe. There is a lot in the dark, but there's an ending of a cycle and you got the victory because you got the strength. Congratulations. I love you guys. And I'll see you later, okay? Don't forget to watch part one so you know exactly what's going on here, okay? So your payoff is coming. Everybody's payoff is coming. Mwah! Stay blessed. I truly love yous. I truly appreciate yous. And I really, really hope this helped. Have a beautiful day or night whenever you watch this. Bye.